Hi everyone, it's me, Michael, and uh, just a update on the Elder Project. I'm here in Sandy Lake, uh, northern part of Ontario, and these are all the exos that I fixed. Pretty cool. And what's even cooler is is that every single computer in this lab here is running at Ubuntu with the Deep Freeze Orphis system. So, for example, if I go up to this computer here, pretty nice computer, I press this one here, enter the password, Oh, there you go, Edubuntu, with all the applications here, educational software, games, education, so let's take a look at, for example, my favorite, TuxMath. You can play alone. I like playing alone. Play arcade game, Ace. So Firefox. So Sandy Lake has pretty good internet. Good as in stable. Let's, for example, we want to go to Google. And there's Google. Not bad, eh? Let's say on documents, I create a folder called work. No, let's call it bad stuff. So anything here. So once the student logs out or restarts the computer, we load Ubuntu again. We click on student. So this is the user that we've been to before. We go to home folder, documents, there's nothing there. So it restores it to the way it previously was. No damage can ever be done. Pretty cool. completely free. So that's the Edubuntu and again it's installed on every single computer here as well. So the lucky thing about this classroom is, is that it also has a smart board and what we're going to do is, is that we're going to hook it to a desktop here. The desktop here allows for Edubuntu to be run Michelle, the uh, teacher here, is going to run a tutorial on how to run Edubuntu for the teachers as well. We've given her the resources needed and we've shown her the steps on installing as well. And we've also given the uh, start, uh, the user's guide and some lesson plans, how to use the EXO in the classroom. So this hopefully will be enough for the uh, classroom of maybe grade 2, grade 3, other laptops, computers that need to be done, and overall a great success. Sandy Lake is the second 
and most comprehensive one because we've been able to install Orifice, the deep freeze system, and a variety of other things. So Michelle hopefully will give us some updates on how this is going to be done. And I'll see everyone later.